How did you find Christ or Christ find you? Oh, okay. It works the same way for black people. Like, you just, uh... <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't know if you know that. You just, you just believe in your heart and... Yeah, you just believe in your heart and confess it to your mouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was doing a show. There's a club in New York. It's one of the hardest clubs to get into at the time. Uh, it's called the Comic Strip Live, and I was I wanted to perform there. This club is so hard to get into. Comedians start lining up at six o'clock in the morning so they can be a part of an open mic at seven o'clock at night. So I finally get a, a chance to perform there, and this comedian named George Wallace is there. George Wallace is hilarious. He's great, but he walks in right before I'm about to go on stage. So normally, whoever comes in, whoever's next, gets bumped. If somebody like George Wallace comes in, you get bumped. I'm next. Why, because he's good or what? Are they because, good? yeah, because he's, like, well-known, and people people who know where it's, like, hook up, they know him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe the, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the downtrodden people probably don't, don't know that much about it. But, um... <laughs> I'm learning. Man. I'm so, learning. I'm ready to learn. So I'm about to get on stage, he comes in, and then the manager's walking over to me, and I already know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say, yo, I gotta bump you. You're gonna have to wait till he's done. But instead, he says to me, and this is where God shows up for the first time in my life. Well, this is where I noticed him. He says to me, listen, George Wiles is here. Do you wanna go on before him or after him? I was like, let me go on before him. So I go on before him, and I got New Yorkers laughing. Now listen, in New York, if you're not funny, the way to let you know is they'll say something like, you're not funny. <laughs> So not only do I got New Yorkers laughing, but George Wiles is laughing too. And then after the show, he walks up to me and he asks me a question. He says, so why don't you curse? Now at this point, I don't know anything about Jesus, but I made a pact with my friend when we were 15 years old that we wouldn't curse anymore. If he heard me curse, he hit me in the chest hard as he wanted to, vice versa. Dude could hit hard, I stopped cursing immediately. <laughs> but I can't tell George Wiles this because at this point, I'm a grown man and I shouldn't be afraid of my friend hitting me in the chest. <laughs> so I told him, I was like, what if my grandmother walk in or something? And then he said, you know what, that's, that's funny, it's honorable. I'd love for you to do a show with me and my best friend in a couple nights. I get to the show, it's me, George Wallace, Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. I, wow. I do two shows, I get two standing ovations, I rip. After the show, different club, the manager walks up to me and he says, hey, Michael, you wanna go to church with me? I was like, church? <laughs> I just got two standing ovations, why are you messing this up? <laughs> I don't want no church, I to back up. Then, like, 20 minutes later, his fiance asked me if I wanted to go. And she was fine. I'm talking about beautiful, <laughs> right? She had some kind of accent, too. She was like, Michael Jr., would you like to go to church with us? <laughs> and I was like, I was just looking for a church. <laughs> I was like, I'm a church. <laughs> so I go to this church. I go to this church for the wrong reason. It's a Christian culture center, Brooklyn, New York. A.R. Bernard, and this dude is on stage talking about Jesus. That's it, he's just talking, he ain't screaming, he ain't yelling, he don't got no perm. <laughs> and, he, and he did an uh, altar call, and I wanted to go down, but I was like, nah, I gotta read the pamphlet first. So I told myself, <laughs> cause I didn't want to be one of them, like I had some friends who were Christian, it was creepy. It's some creepy Christians out there. <laughs> if, you don't know, if, if you don't know any creepy Christians, it's you. I just wanna point that out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know who you are, you know who you are. <laughs> so I told myself I'd read the whole Bible, and I had a problem reading when I was a child. I struggled with reading for a long time. And the sign I didn't know the Bible was that big, I was like, okay, I'm gonna read it. So I, I started reading the Bible. I finished reading the Bible in 38 days, because wow. at this point, I wanna go up and give my life to Jesus, but I told myself I'd read the Bible first. Mm. Wow. So I'm reading the Bible, I'm putting in like 14 hours a day. All sure. I'm doing in New York is reading the Bible, um, going to church, and getting on stage and doing comedy. And it's all starting to make sense, and now, I understand, after finish reading the Bible, I ran up to the altar like during the announcements at church. I was like, yeah, I know, I know you got a picnic, but listen, is Jesus here right now? Because I'm ready to do this. So now I understand, I used to just think I was funny, but now I get it, like I'm funny for a reason. Yes, like sir. there's purpose behind this funny, which is amazing. Then I read yes, in the Bible that, you know, God used a donkey. So I'm like, okay. 